Welcome to this clinical skills lecture on assessing the jugular venous pressure. This tutorial discusses the ideal method for assessing the jugular venous pulse by covering the following topics. First of all, what is the jugular venous pressure? Patient setup and positioning. Locating the jugular venous pressure. Measuring the height of the JVP. Use of techniques to alter the JVP. The assessment of the waveform of the JVP and interpretation of the results you then get. The JVB is used to assess the right atrial pressure and to look at the right heart hemodynamics. Consideration needs to be given to the height of the impulse and its waveform. As the JVP varies according to the position of the patient, this needs to be standardised. By convention, the patient should be sitting with her legs flat and her back at an angle of 45 degrees. To allow relaxation of the neck muscles, the patient should have the head supported and turned approximately 30 degrees away from the observer, usually to the left as the right internal jugular is easier to assess as it is straighter. In order to locate the JVP, its position relative to the other neck structures needs to be clear. And this diagram shows this relationship with the two heads of the sternocleidomastoid and the internal jugular vein passing up between them above the clavicle. To produce a consistent result, the height needs to be compared to a fixed anatomical structure. And by convention, the sternal angle is used as the point of reference, as it is the at the level of the right atrium. The difference is read in vertical centimetres. Side and relax your next muscles. So you can see the sternocleidomastoid, the two heads here, and obviously the clavicle. We're looking for the point between the two uh, heads of the uh, sternocleidomastoid of the highest impulse, which is here. And now in order to get a standardization, we need to fix it to an anatomical position. And what we're going to use is a manubrosternal angle, which is here. And we're going to look at the distance between the two vertically in centimeters, of, which will give us the JVP. And in this case, it's the normal range between three and five centimeters. Differentiation between the arterial and venous pulsation can sometimes be difficult. This is assisted by three observations. Firstly, the JVP is a bifid waveform in normal health. Secondly, the waveform can be stopped by gentle compression at the base of the neck. And thirdly, the level alters with changes in position and by pressing on the abdomen, which is known as the abdominal jugular reflex. I appreciate that assessing the waveform of the JVP can be very difficult and it takes a significant amount of practice. That being said, it can provide very valuable information on the condition of the heart. As can be seen in this diagram, normally the waveform is bifid. First of all, you get the effect of the atrial contraction with the A wave. And then later, during ventricular contraction, you get the V wave when the AV valves are shut. The A wave is followed by a descent known as the X descent and the V wave is followed by the Y descent. All of these can be altered in disease, not least the loss of the A wave in the presence of atrial fibrillation. Assessing variation from the normal pattern can be considered both in terms of the height of the JVP and its waveform. Normally, the height of the JVP is no more than four centimeters above the sternal angle, which equates to a nine centimeter right atrial pressure. Be careful, as at times the JVP can be so high that it's difficult to appreciate as it's up above the ears. Examples of alteration in the waveform occur in various situations. In pulmonary hypertension, you get accentuation of the A wave, and this will lead to a very large and marked X descent. In tricuspid regurgitation, you get the, the regurgitant wave connecting together the C point and the V wave, giving you a so-called CV wave. And in right ventricular constriction, you get a very steep Y descent, as shown here. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned from it. Further information on the variations in the JVP waveform 
can be found in standard texts.